Hey, obviously we're live. Rick McBride with five minutes of free time again. We're going to go ahead and start over. Um, today, what I wanted to talk about is what is the future of commercial real estate? Heard on CNBC this morning that J.C. Penney's, staple of my youth, is uh, closing 168 stores. I don't know about you, but when it was time to go school clothes shopping, that's where my mother took me. Um, they are now closing 168 stores. Um, one of my favorite stores, Sports Authority, they went bankrupt and closed. And then um, I also heard that uh, JJ Gregg, I think it's HH. H H Gregg, whatever, um, is uh, closing their stores as well. So that leads us to what is the future of commercial real estate and what is the future of commercial sales? You know, a hundred years ago, in 1917, which isn't that long ago, uh, there weren't any large commercial chain stores. We just think now that it's just the way it is, but that simply wasn't the way it was. Um, every small town, which are now ghost towns more or less, had a mom and pop store, a grocery store, a hardware store that type of thing and that's pretty much all there was in the town um, there were if you look at some old advertisements you had the Sears catalog you had the Woolworths and dime stores and stuff like that but for the most part everything was uh, independent so with all of these re with retail uh, being dominated by Amazon and everything going online what's going to happen to all this real estate space what's going to happen to the malls what's going to happen to all of the commercial retail space and that's a question that I really don't have an answer for we're going to have to watch that really closely uh, certainly there's going to be a lot of empty retail space there's no doubt about that um, so what will be replacing that if anything um, you know with automation coming the guy from google announced yesterday that uh he believes that the computer will be, the, the artificial intelligence of the computer will be equal to uh, the human intelligence in 12 years. 2029, in 12 years. So what does that say for real estate? You know, we don't know. We're going to have to watch that close. Um, but one thing that's super popular and will continue to grow in Florida is uh, metal, medical offices. Uh, we certainly will have a need uh, in Florida at all times with an older population, with a growing population, um, the medical will continue on its way up. Um, you're seeing hospitals pop up all over the place. You're seeing um, urgent care type places. You know, who knows what in the future for health care and all that. But one thing is for sure, there will be more people in Florida that need medical care. So that's one avenue that uh, I think you'll see continue to grow. Uh, I think retail will continue to struggle. Um, it's just not going to be the same anymore. Um, you can just order stuff online instantly and it's only going to get better and more efficient. So retail may actually turn into more like industrial where uh, you have your Amazon supply centers and your Walmart supply centers where they're just keeping the product and then they just deliver it to you one way or another. Hey, who knows, maybe it'll be like Star Trek and they'll just uh, teleport it to you. Um, and then, um, but what will remain popular and what can never be replaced are boutiques and specialty stores. Um, if you make something special yourself, um, if you're a boutique type um, uh, store with a, with a particular niche, then you can never be replaced because you can't make enough product to satisfy the market. So there will always be room and there will always be small offices and small service offices. And then finally, I think we're about to see the greatest industrial boom we've ever seen in the history of the world. Um, the energy prices are going down, robotics are, are coming up, so you're going to see us able to compete on an international scale um, at in manufacturing just about anything. Um, the, the cost to actually produce something will be reduced so substantially that we will be able to produce it here and produce it locally. So what you will see there is industry continue to grow similar to, just different, 
the, the, the boom of the 20s and 30s when industrial had the big, uh, when we had the big industrial revolution. It'll be similar to that, except for it'll be a lot more high tech, a lot cleaner, a lot greener, and a lot more efficient. And of course, restaurants will always be popular. But as far as retail goes, I think you're going to see a lot of empty space. I mean, they replace retail up here in our, in our shopping center with a card room, and it's packed every day. That's the type of service, and that's certainly a niche market. So if you uh, have commercial property or considering commercial property or considering investing in commercial property, then give us a call, shoot us a text, 386-866-1007. We are your property masters, and we will get you top dollar for your property.